Now, good morning from Fort Collins, Colorado. Before we leave this state, something has drawn my eye here in Fort Collins. I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. It appears to be Quirkyville, USA, otherwise known as Sweatsville. Let's go check this out right now. Well, we got to get through the gates of these guard dragons. Mm-hmm. Donations. The zoo receives no local, state, federal funds. that's maintained and improved your donations. Well, here, make me something good in there, guy. Old Snoopy here. So I guess the owner, artist of all this, is Bill Svets, or Sweats, and he's been making all of these metal creations since 1984, and this is what has come of it. Masterpieces everywhere. I don't know if it's really themed or anything. This looks like their space section. A huge rocket here, made out of all sorts of gears and other metal stuff. I can tell a lot of time and energy went into creating all these. Gotta work with what you got, right? What a fun hobby. Now, I believe this to be Humpty Dumpty because he's sitting on a wall and then he falls. But Bill, I'm just going to let you know, this has gotten a little out of hand and that's a good thing. Oh, I really like the turtle. That's awesome. You slithering beast. Creepy. Now, he also obviously lives on the property, so I don't know if he lives in this castle converted mobile home here or another house or something, but... Yeah, certainly uh, he lives within his art. And that is pretty cool. A two-headed dragon greets you right here at the front as well. I would tell you the name of this river if I knew it. I think it's something close to Pudi, Pudine River or something like that. Well, buddy, you catching anything? You getting any bites? You got one, buddy. Fish on. That's awesome. Uh, another one. This is my third spider bug that I have found on my travels, the third one. And this one you can picnic and eat right underneath his belly. Yeah, no thanks. Is he smiling? I wouldn't call that a smile. Now we got another fisherman here. Looks like he's uh, definitely got one on. I will point out, it does say that it's open to the public 10 a.m. to I think 5 p.m. And I, now I'm noticing numbers, like this has 91 on it. Mr. Golfer Man here has number 88 on him. So I don't know where the guide is. Maybe someone else knows. It's probably online. It's probably available online and I just didn't see it. I don't know what kind of instrument this guy's playing. You know those really annoying RV neighbors with the really loud wind chimes they put outside their RV and then they leave and then the wind hits and you're just kind of stuck with it? Can you imagine this? Take some of that. I'm putting this outside, Miranda. Uh-oh, we got some new hatching going on here. It looks like a baby dino's coming out of his egg. Um, is it lunchtime, guys? Ooh, creepy. Hey, man, I don't want any trouble. No. If you need any work done on your vehicle, Sandy's Super Service might be able to get it done right here. You know, if your dinosaur carriage uh, needs some service. Yeah. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, this guy here was made out of one of those uh, coin parking meters. And he is monitoring this Ford Fiesta. <laughs> oh, look, it says Happy Camper in there. My, what big tires you have. Oh, Mr. Propane Guy is taking our picture. This is just incredible. Poor guy, he doesn't stand a chance. This is like quirky heaven, by the way, yeah. A praying mantis there, an oogly googly spider. Lots of dinosaurs, lots and lots of dinosaurs. And I believe this is actually where Bill lives. I think this is his residence. Are you not impressed? Well, guess what? Below in the video description, I will put some GPS coordinates to Sweatsville Zoo for you in case you're here in Colorado off I-25 and want to check it out for yourself. But right now, I got to get some lunch in me. 
I actually had quite a few resources I used to find food. I'm trying to stay away from the chains and try some of the mom and pop shops. Um, but this one comes from the gardener over here at Costco. Told me that I should go to the college area and check out an 80s themed diner. Yes, please. And I'm supposed to turn right here. So, let you know when I get parked and when we get there. Uh, whoops, actually the pizza place doesn't open till 11. I gotta kill about 45 minutes, so I pulled in here to the Colorado Welcome Center and Rest Area. It's because I'm very close to the Wyoming border in northern Colorado right now, but a little surprised by that sign. No overnight parking, outdoor camping, or sleeping in vehicles. They flat out are the opposite of the state of Texas. That is too funny. Isn't it amazing how things can change just state to state in the United States as far as being welcoming to RVs, <laughs> sleeping in vehicles. I have never seen that written anywhere at a rest stop. So I'll get a few things done and then we'll head in and try to find some parking in Fort Collins. All right, totally 80s pizza. Let's go check it out. Ghostbusters and all. I'll have to keep these clips short because there's lots of copyright music going on. Arnold. Look at the old Mario cube lights. Oh man, Doc Brown. Oh, the hoverboard from Back to the Future. So it's an 80s museum and a pizza joint. Han Solo and Carbonite, yes! Oh, man. By the way, I did order a new one of these for my fridge. More on that later. Look at all the old school video games. Oh, Pac-Man didn't work, though. Turtles, Frogger, Super Mario Brothers. Moonwalker. Oh, my gosh. Michael Jackson and E.T. and Dukes of Hazzard. Alf. Pee-wee's Mike. Yes. And I actually had a Macintosh Performa similar to that 80s Mac. This place is awesome. It's a college place, so obviously it doesn't come alive till tonight. And I got my pizza. Oh yeah. Pretty amazingly awesome. Y'all know I'm, I love my pizza. I did not expect that pizza to taste so good. That is worth the stop. Again, some GPS coordinates I'm slamming down there in the video description for you to stop on by. If not for the unwelcoming, uh, you know, part of RVs here in this area, I would spend a lot more time here in Fort Collins. Mainly for that restaurant right there. That was fun. Gotta go find the RV though now. It is time to go find camping and it's not gonna work in this state. So we got some driving and miles to put on to find a spot to camp. I'll let you know where we end up. Patience pays off. <laughs> I may have found the only campground in the entire state of Wyoming open in May. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> at least I found it. At least it was open finally. Uh, I went a lot, lot farther than I wanted to go today. 
this place. This is Green Rock, Wyoming, and uh, it appears to have about 15 or so little free campsites. And in May, you get it all to yourself, of course. I purposely picked a spot as far away from the ball field as possible, even though I'm only gonna be here two nights. I just don't know. Let's, let's try it. No water. So it's off for the season. Probably they only turn that on July and August. And always check first about gathering firewood. It's probably not gonna be okay in federal lands, but in a city park like this, Lots of downed tree limbs, branches and stuff I could use in a fire tonight, even though those rain clouds are looking a little mean. But check out my spot. No, I'm not talking about this side. I'm talking about the other side of my RV. Above ground barbecue grill, picnic table, and the river. I mean, yes, we are literally right next to the highway, but it's still not bad. This right here would not usually be underwater, but the river is overflowing here in the spring. See, but times like these make it worth it, you know, to do some lot docking a few nights and then to just drive, drive, drive and get a free campground like this. It definitely makes it worth it, definitely. So perhaps you're wondering how are we doing solar wise? This is the first day where we really haven't gotten a lot of sun and uh, we've got some shade. I mean, there's sun coming down, but look at these nasty clouds. Yeah, we're getting some rain here in a sec. That looks straight up evil, okay? Either way, we are not getting full sun on our solar panels on the roof, right? Okay. Let's go inside and see how we're doing. I mean, we're not roughing it here at all or, or saving power or anything. I'm editing on the laptop. We're watching live TV from 31 stations available. Are we in trouble? And it says 13.31 volts. That's good news. Let's check out our app here real quick. Oh my gosh, 100% infinite time remaining. <laughs> wow. So tilting and all that other stuff you can do to get extra panels on the ground and away from it, as long as you just put a ridiculous amount of solar on the roof, you're gonna be okay, and that is really awesome. However, I just pulled up the weather outlook for the weekend of where I'm camping right now, although I was going to leave here and go camp with this weather instead for the weekend. Obviously, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure out that I'm changing my plans. I'm gonna stay here for four or five days in a row. I do have service, so I'll be able to upload a couple videos from here. I'll keep you guys updated, but I really want to enjoy the river and the quiet, peaceful, free campground out here. So be patient with me, guys. Jackson, I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. He didn't show Jax. Where's the unsubscribe button? You lounging? Well, they, they were wondering about you. So you're, so you're cool? You're good? He's good. So you're healthy, happy? I haven't forgot to feed you, ever. Okay? All right. All right, man.